Knives are a strange mechanic in CSGO. Not with balancing, but with gameplay. How is it possible to knife someone on top of you when you're not even looking at them? Well, we'll answer that question a little later on. First, we need to get a better idea of knives, and the best way for me to teach this is by showing what I went through in research. Originally, I thought the range you could stand to hit someone with a left-click knife is here, but it's not. At first, I always thought that the best place to aim is at the player, but I was wrong. There are hitboxes specifically for knives that are a lot larger than you think. It extends above, below, and around the player in a rectangular prism. You can find these edges by being a fair bit from the hitbox so you can see the knife particles in front of you, and then walking to the side until you find the last place where you can hit the box. Then do the same on the face next to it. You'll find an edge like you would expect on a normal box. At the same time, the player with the knife has an attack box that is shaped like half an ellipse like an egg, or possibly like a cone, starting at your vision. The thing closest to your vision in your attack box will be hit whenever you click. You can see this by looking next to a wall and looking in one place. When you're right next to the wall, you can have super wide ranges, hitting at the edge of your screen. As you back out, you'll notice it will become closer to your crosshair, meaning its range is declining. You can tell it's an egg or cone and not a sphere by the way of logic. In a sphere, every point on the surface is equal distance to the center. So if I had one point in contact with the line on screen, also called the tangent line, and rotated my circular sphere, another point would be touching the wall. When you walk backwards, you'll see your knife spot will be closer to your crosshair, because the radius keeps getting smaller until it's just a point. Because I can't be bothered to figure out if it's an ellipse or a cone, I'm just going to represent it in the middle, though I have a hunch just looking at the decals it's a cone. Now that we have this, the range we can hit someone in should start to make more sense. The farthest point from the center, where our model is, is in the corner, and the closest you can be is straight across from the center, also called the apothem. We can extend our range that we can knife in from a circle to a square if we aim differently. If we aim straight towards the player no matter where we are, then our range will be like a circle, like this, with the left click. However, if we aim for the closest part of the hitbox, the part we actually need to hit, we can make a square with rounded edges. The reason why most of the line is straight is that, when we have our attack box, the longest point is straight out ahead of our vision, so we can directly aim for the hitbox for the farthest distance. The corners are rounded because as we get past the hitbox, the closest part to us is the corner, which also happens to be the farthest part away from the center. Every time we move a little bit more, we have to adjust our horizontal angle to reach the corner, until you get to 45 degrees, which is the absolute farthest we can be from the center. This continuous rotation creates these rounded like corners. The range is longer with your left click than your right click, as the right click attack box cone egg thing is shorter. Now that we know this, we can answer these weird mechanics that come with the knife. In the case of what happened with Rain, Kyo's hitbox below, which extends pretty far down, was in the range of probably the top of his attack box, making it register as a hit when he swiped. In matchmaking, whenever you're running and no one is in your vision and you swipe and still hit someone, your attack box was just probably barely in their hitbox, which is pretty large. You know how when you're on top of someone you can left click them but you can't right click? It's because the right click range is too short to get into the box, but the left click is long enough. And when you crouch and shift your attack box down with your vision, that's why you can hit both. Let's get into timings. Will you have an advantage if you go diagonal? I don't think it has a large effect. See, the hitboxes don't rotate with player view, so getting the upper hand is very difficult, since you would have the same ranges if you charged in on each other, which you do in a knife fight. Now, if you know that you have a longer range whenever you go diagonal, you could swipe a bit earlier than most would, but missing the first swing could mean your death, and it's only 10 units which is extremely small and short in time while running. Aiming straight ahead is something different though. Your attack cone egg box thing is farther straight ahead, so you should have a longer range if you just try to be pretty vertically straight when coming into a fight. How much of a difference? Again, not much, but every small bit counts in CSGO, and if it's something so simple as just to move your crosshair up or down a tiny bit, I don't see any reason not to, unless it messes with your aim or something on them. If you're curious for the exact dimensions, the squares in this map are 16 by 16 units long. I wouldn't take my pictures down to the unit by unit measurement, but I highly doubt anything is off beyond maybe 3 or 4 units, as I mark spots to graph with bullet decals, and the center of these can vary a little bit. If anyone is curious, this is the backstab range, so if you have a tight situation, try and go more for the right side of the body to have a better chance to one-shot them. In the future, try not to knife with your teammates nearby, as you have a fair chance to knife them without even seeing them. Or do it anyway. It gives funny reactions. Oh, God.